So here's another one I've had sitting around for quite some time. This is uh, the uh, United Machining bow tie. Um, I did. I reviewed the aluminum version a while back. It didn't do that great because it's aluminum, so it didn't spin very long. This is the stainless steel version I've had sitting here for a while, waiting to review it. Definitely has a different feel than the aluminum one, but it still has this really these really nice machining marks on it. If you can see the pattern, it's very, very nicely done machining. But I'm expecting this one to get a little bit better spin times than the aluminum one. We're going to find that out. I've seen some reviews of this one on the internet, and uh, people seem to like it quite a bit. And I kind of like it. It's it's definitely something, It's for a bar spinner, it uh, seems very nice. So I'm going to test this one out and see how long it spins. So I got done testing the United Machining's uh, bow tie stainless steel version. Didn't take me very long, unfortunately. Um, it only got an average spin time of three minutes and six seconds. On vertical spins, it got uh, four to four forty-five seconds, and on horizontals, it only got about two minutes to two hundred to two minutes and fifty seconds. So it didn't go very well. I tried to change the bearing in it to see if I could get a little bit better spin time, but it, unfortunately it has an unusual bearing size in it. So I looked on their website and I saw they're, they're calling the bearing an R3 hybrid bearing. It's pretty close to an R188, but not, not exactly the same. The hole in the middle is different, so you can't, uh, you can't get the, uh, um, well, basically my bearing removal tool wouldn't fit in it so because the hole in the center is smaller than uh, an R188, so I couldn't get the bearing out. And the outside diameter seems a little bit different also. So I don't know if I got a bad bearing or if I fried it, one of the two. Um, but it did, it did uh, like, like I said, 4 to 4 or 45 four minutes and 45 seconds uh, horizontal or vertically but in horizontally it was pretty pretty terrible two minutes and you know two minutes to two minutes and 50 seconds so it got an average spin time of three minutes and six seconds with a mean variability of 50 seconds and uh, uh, on appearance I gave it a 7.5 I think it looks really nice with uh, the machining marks are very nice on it it's definitely something you can appreciate. The feel I gave it an eight. This thing is really good to play with. Um, despite the fact that it didn't do very well on spin times, it's still very good to play with. And for that reason, I'm not gonna say don't get one. Um, it's pretty nice, pretty nice thing to have around and play with. Perceived quality, I gave it a 7.5. So I got an overall score of 4.99. And that was due to the poor spin time plus the variability involved in it. So pretty bad score of 4.99. This one on United Machining's website costs $49.99. Um, is it worth it? Um, probably not. But still, it's, a, it's still pretty fun. I think a lot of people have bought this and are pretty happy with it. It weighs 59 grams, according to the website. I got it at 63 grams, so my scale differs from what they say on the website. 
And again, they're calling it an R3 bearing, an R3 hybrid ceramic bearing. So I think the takeaway from this is if you're not, if you're concerned about spin times, don't worry about this one. But if you want a little tri spinner or a little uh, bi spinner that uh, feels pretty cool, this is an okay one to get. All right.